y'all what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and today i want to go over tugaloo blue and how he was able to take a massive vision that he had as an artist and slowly bring it to life over a three to four year process and now has positioned himself to take off first and foremost i had a chance to talk to this guy and he came up with a compelling narrative when he was a freshman in college knowing that he wanted to create an entire project out of his dorm room. There are actually a lot of musicians, particularly the ones who are in college, that create music out of their dorm room. So that is not really unique to Tugaloo. It's not always about being the only person to have a certain experience. What's important is being the first person to own a experience, right? There are a lot of people that sang in their raps like Kanye, Ja Rule, and etc. before Drake, but Drake owned it as no, this is his thing. He is a singing RB type rapper. So what he did was own this as his narrative, not just create songs out of a dorm room and maybe mention it here and there. No, he created it as a concept to then share, committing to a compelling story similar to Kanye having I'm a college dropout or Chance saying I created this project on 10 day suspension that gives you something to share and for people to relate and then actually have a perspective on how they want to view the entire project not to mention it helps with marketing in so many other ways that we're not even going to get into right now number two a lot of you artists in the beginning may not have a team Tugaloo is no different so what he did was create a lot of one-off situations, whether those were musicians and aligning his aspirations with others. For instance, there's a guy that he knows that wants to be in film and create video, music videos and things like that. So he helped him out in doing some favors for him on video sets and stuff like that. So then in return, he could support him and create a video for him which is still in line with what the guy wants to do anyway and there's so many examples of him doing that one off in different ways you might have to do favors for people in the beginning just to get what you need if you don't have money to exchange there's nothing wrong with that that first project is going to have to be created by any means necessary the struggle is a part of the artistic process and it makes for a good story eventually number three create great experiences not only did he create the project in the dorm he threw a concert out of the dorm and you got all of these people hearing what's going on and coming from everywhere they open the doors and people are lined up through the hallway <laughs> creating a unique experience. I've been to college and I don't remember anybody throwing a concert out of the dorm. Been to a few, you know, parties out of the dorm for the better or worse, but a concert, nada. Probably the dopest idea. He actually also did a project release at a drive-in movie theater. Not going into too many details, he was able to create a super unique experience where he was able to play his music on the screen between Fate of the Furious and Logan. Obviously movies that are huge hits, so you got a lot of people there. That is an extremely unique way to get people to see your music. And now they have this intimate experience of seeing it on the screen and listening to it in their car in a way that they haven't experienced any other person's music for the first time. And we all know how great music tends to sound in our cars. That type of creativity sets the tone for the type of experiences you provide for your audience, what people expect. So they're going to gravitate towards you because the stories are going to get out with word of mouth. And then the media are going, is going to start picking up on that kind of stuff and spread your story for you. I love it. Number four, we're just going to call number four, don't be different. Be yourself. When you try to be yourself by nature, you will be different because we all have unique experiences. And the way Tugaloo did this was the fact that one, he's from Missouri and he grew up listening to bluegrass just in his environment. So his album sonically is inspired by hip hop, R&B, and bluegrass. You don't ever hear that in hip hop <laughs> at all. Because of that, he has uh, fiddles and banjos, like just other instruments that actually create sonics that you're not going to get from the typical instruments you I do. When you 
create your own unique sound and create your own unique style, you offer something that nobody else can offer. On top of Sonics, he has these unique visuals. They're unique because he painted them himself and he painted it in the dorm room to go along with the theme. Painting is something he had already been doing and that was authentic and a part of his life. He just used another medium and another part of him to be a part of the project. And then he also used like home videos. If you use things that only you can offer, then you're already ahead of the game in creating a unique brand. When you create your own style, people can love listening to so many other types of artists, but when they're in a certain mood, they, there's something that only you can offer that will always keep them coming back. So that's why you want to not be different, but be yourself in as many different ways as you can. But actually what's most important is what I call the incubation period. Tugaloo came up with this idea as a freshman. He experimented trying different beats, growing as a producer, creating so much horrible music until he got to the point where he was finding that exact sound that he wanted to get towards. And then also studying marketing and branding in that time so he could actually put that stuff to work when he was ready to put this project out. That's what I hope for you guys to get from this channel right studying these things so when you are able to implement you do it as effective as possible and make as big of a wave your first time out and then become bigger and bigger and bigger with each punch and i want to make this clear that this is not some kind of paid to make video or anything like that it's not an advertisement you guys can get a lot out of it and the story in itself and i also believe that he's truly now established a foundation to carve out something really special in the game so he is a guy worth watching for some time. Share this with your homies if you found it helpful because that's it. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe.